Hello folks and welcome to a brand new tutorial on how to create Minecraft 2D. This is part 6 and in this tutorial I'll show you how to break blocks with the amount of time you want the blocks to be destroyed in. So, what do I mean with that? Well, we got the breaking animation here and we are literally gonna break the blocks instead of just destroying them. So what we do need is obviously the break animation and what I created is a mouse follow object so like a square which will follow the mouse wherever it goes but you can also leave this so if you want to add this which I think makes it a bit cooler then create a image here 32 by 32 with a white border and remove the full image re rectangle thing uh, four borders away from uh, well, four pixels away from the borders, so we get a collision checking like this. And uh, also, what I did, I created Steve here with a nice smooth walking animation like this, and that's pretty cool. And also, uh, well, I adjust some things with this. Steve. mouse following thing you want to create the mouse so instance create mouse X minus 16 and mouse Y minus 16 and then object mouse follow well I, I called it mouse follow you can call it whatever you want so now we created the mouse so now we are going to say that in the step event of our object mouse follow we say just that the, the, the x value is mouse x. do it and delete the left press instant destroy things that we created last tutorial, previous tutorial. So we go in our object block here and we will set the breaking and left mouse buttons whatever all those events put in the parent object because it's much much easier to do. So what I'm going to do is say if index is smaller than not So it'll loop through these alarms, well only this alarm actually, until the index is not uh, smaller than 9. So, um, and then set the alarm 0, the same alarm here, whoa, why do I do this in the create event? It needs to be a step event, alarm event. alarm 0 like that and then set the alarm 0 to hardness multiplied by 3 and what is the hardness well the hardness hardness uh, hardness hardness is 
the um, amount of time you want the sprite, uh, well, you want the block to give uh, amount of time you give the block to destroy. All right? So we will put in every block a different hardness. So if breaking is still true while the index is not lower than 9, then the index is going to be set back to false and instance destroy. And breaking, uh, breaking is false, index is zero. I'm sorry. And then index destroy. So later on we will say that um, it drops items. But now we say instance destroy. Okay? So now go to a step event and put in the control code and then say that when breaking is true if place meeting x y object mouse follow well breaking is still true but if not index is going to be put back to zero and breaking is going to be put back to false just like that and oh if you don't use this object here and you only use the mouse just say this just say that okay well, this obviously instead of this sentence here. So let's create a left button and also create a left released, global left released button. And here we will just say if not breaking, while the left button is pressed on the current block, the mouse is hitting actually, um, and not breaking, then it's going to be. and the alarm zero is going to be set hardness plus three so this is actually the reason why we put nine instead of ten I got ten images but I say nine because I want to loop the alarm zero nine times but here I already triggered the alarm one time so that makes 10 kind of lo logic right so let's go to the global left released and just set the index to zero and breaking to false so whenever you global release the left button then this will happen which is also kind of logic right and then in the draw event we say draw sprites so in Gaming Studio, you could say this, but we will just say draw sprite, and then actually the same thing sprite index, image index, and then x, y. So that's actually the same. So then we are going to check if breaking is true, and if it is, it's going to draw the uh, break sprite. So I called it break, and I want this to draw the sub image index so that's the index value we are looping through and we will set a hardness but we will set a hardness for every object here and how do I know which hardness I will give the blocks well leaves got a hardness of 0 0.3 when nothing is selected well actually here's the hardness but we use when you don't select tools or you don't have select tools or whatever and grass block has 0 0.9 and dirt got 0 0.75 0 0.75 okay and stone has a oh, wood has tree oh, where's the stone
hardness of 0.9. So now we got an alarm zero here, while his parent object, object, object block, object block, has an own alarm. So we need to say here that alarm one is two, and then just change this event to be alarm one. Right. So it's really that easy. If I run it now, you'll see, you'll notice what all happened. So we got our mouse here, and when I click on a block, yes, it will create the breaking animation, and when I hold it, it will loop through. And when I release it, it will not loop through anymore. And when I move the object mouse follow away from, well, the block, it'll stop. and set the height to 62 and then you will see that all glitches are covered well not all of them we'll cover it later the glitches which are still in so i'll see you in the next story the next story is all about item drops see you later